Hi, uh, my name is Michelle Grief. I'm the managing director of Hop Studio. Hop Studio is based on the concept that we can take 3D files off of our clients and represent them in an exciting way, uh, whether that's 3D printing, uh, 3D visualizations like augmented and virtual reality, or actually scanning in our products to create 3D prints. The way 3D printing works is it takes a 3D file and it slices it into various layers and it actually builds layer by layer on top of each other. Our machine can build 3D models of architectural or construction buildings overnight. I'll show you this one, it's kind of cool. Okay, so this is a, a typical type model that we, we do at Hob Studio, uh, especially for architectural clients. This as a, a, a shoe prototype has been printed in full colour. Uh, so we're able to model something up and then replicate an exact look of it. So again, we're able to replicate uh, a sandwich and a donut um, in full colour. And finally, we also can scan in people so you can make an exact replica of yourself and then 3D print that out as well. A selfie. <laughs> We need to print an existing building. The first step will be scanning, then uh, put together all the different scans. Uh, this machine uh, is a tool that measures the real world. The way it works is, is rotating itself this uh, direction in horizontal, and also the mirror there is rotating. We scan the, the Wellington statue as a sample. I will spend there maybe less than an hour and I moved the scanner in six locations. Here you can see the output. I do all the CGI's, animations um, and models for, for 3D print uh, and laser scanning. Anyone can send me a model or send me 2D CAD drawings and I can model up in 3D. What I've got on my screen is a, it's just an oil rig model. I'm just setting it up and about to save the file format ready to send for, for 3D print. I um, operate the 3D print machine, which is a Project 660. So what it does is it mixes the colour in with a binding fluid and as it goes over the powder, it sets the powder. So if you imagine you're, you take a solid object and cut it into say a thousand layers, so the bed will drop down 0.1 a millimetre every time it sweeps a powder layer across and then prints across it. We've, we've had a few strange things, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I mentioned you, but with 3D, pe 3D printing people's pets, so you can scan in your dog or your cat. We have actually had some odd requests, but I'm not sure I can tell you what they are on camera. Oh my God, the worst one I'm thinking in my head, I can't say right now. There has been some strange ones in the past, definitely. I definitely can see what that was on camera. I mean, 3D printing, that's one of the biggest growing industries, I think, at the moment, and there's a lot of buzz and hype about 3D printing. It's changing the way people are working, but we're starting off new in Glasgow, so we're starting off small, but my personal opinion, we'll be needing a much bigger space soon. <laughs>